Hello everyone, I'm back for another shaving video and today we're gonna take a look at a new razor by Razor Rock, the Lupo 72. 72 determines the blade gap, as you probably already know, which is 0.72 millimeters. This is a three-piece stainless steel razor, all parts made in Canada. Let's take a look. I use the barber pole handle for this one. Here is the top cap and the base plate. You see the PL designs here for the blade alignment. You can see Razor Rock Opo at the bottom plate, serial number and made in Canada. For the blade, we're going to use a brand new Gillette Platinum blade. I'm going to put it in the razor now. And some time ago I was reading about this razor and a few people mentioned that it's inspired by um, the Wolfman razor, which is a razor that I'm not really familiar with and I don't know much about it. But judging by the names, it may make sense because lupo means wolf in, I think, Italian and Latin. So, yeah, that might be the case with this razor. Do you, are you familiar with the Wolfman razor? I don't know much about it, so if you have any information, feel free to share it in the comments. Just align the blade. As you can see, the peels are not going through the base plate and the blade is nicely aligned. So I was eyeing this razor for quite some time <clears throat> and something that stands out to me uh, and it's very appealing to see how it feels is the actual design of the head. As you can see the edges over here around the blade they get narrower and they're perfectly aligned with the blade edge which is very unique not many razors are doing that at least as far as i know this is the one that it's getting so close which my expectation is to have excellent um kind of like planning when it comes to detailing you will know exactly where the blade uh, will cut. So in my case, for the goatee on my chin, that will be great. So if you have facial hair and you want to style it, this might be one of the go-to razors for you. I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna see. For the soap, I'm going back to Aromic by Ariana and Evans and the Razor Company. Uh, I already lathered it using my new favorite brush by my friend Carlos with the G5C Synthetic. Um, and I'm just gonna whip the lather because it was staying here for a little while. I'm trying something new with the lathering, how I'm gonna show it to you. So hopefully during the video edit, everything that I planned in my mind works well. So we'll see. I hope that you you enjoy it. And let me know in the comments if that works, uh, if you like it or you prefer me to lather in front of the camera. I'm gonna prepare my face. Another cool thing with the head design of this uh, razor is that it's very uh, compact at the top. As you can see, the edges aligned here and there is not much of a curve or kind of like uh, the profile it doesn't bloat on the top. So yeah, it's very interesting. Probably really good access under the nose, which is what I expect. And if I remember correctly, the blade exposure, there's no details how many millimeters is the exposure of the blade, but 
uh, they, they listed it as a positive blade exposure. And as I'm explaining, I forgot to add some water, but it was a smooth first strike or first slide, not strike. <laughs> Mm, interesting. There are a few things that I feel that are new to me compared to my other razors. One is that the edge on the blade, probably because of that thin profile of the head, feels a bit unique. There is not much of a surface on the top that touches the skin, so it's almost like the, the line of the base plate, which is interesting and not similar to the other razors that I have. And there is one more thing that I feel it's... I don't know if the camera is capturing it, But I think that the scallop on the base bar here is holding up a bit of water. So every time after rinsing the razor, when I do contact with the skin, there is a little bit of water starting to slide down. Probably this helps with the smoothness of this razor because it feels very smooth. I don't know if this is intended, uh, but uh, so far two obvious differences compared to my other razors. Yeah, and you not only know where the width of the cutting sides is exactly because of that alignment of the base plate, but also because of the narrow profile, you know, when you detail your lower part around the chin here. You always know where you're uh, shaving. That so far is big plus. Okay, the first pass is done, efficient, took most of the whiskers, I had two days of growth, mainly around the neck, a bit more left. I see I sliced a couple of pimples that I had, didn't make it through, but that was smooth and I didn't even feel it. Okay, yeah, that's a good first pass, and the knurling of the handle I forgot to mention earlier, very comfortable, there is great grip. I got this razor from the Italian Barber website and the cool thing there uh, is that you can order different base plates. Razor Lock Lupo is having a milder one, which is 0.58 if I remember correctly. One that it's uh, close to 0.99, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll add details on the side here. Uh, that it's a bit more aggressive and one that it's more of a hybrid one side is open comb and the other one is solid bar like this one uh, and i think that they have a full open comb so quite a lot of variations uh, as i mentioned you can order the top cap the base plate separately which is really good so if you don't like 
um, certain kind of like aggressive level and you prefer something milder or a bit more aggressive, you have opportunity to order just the base plate if you have the razor. And also you can order all their handles separately, which is really good. Second pass, cross the grain. Another thing that is frequently discussed is the finish of the of the head of the loop and probably some other of the Italian barber razors. You cannot really see it on the camera from what I can tell here on the screen, but it feels like it's not as polished as other razors with polish finish, which I personally don't mind. There are probably some light tool markings still visible, but again, this is a shaving tool it's supposed to shave, it's supposed to be used, so in my, at least for my preference, that's not a big deal. And I'm sure that if you get the polish cloth and, and get some polish agent, you can achieve nice polish finish on it. Decent efficiency. On the efficiency chart for Razor Rock, this stands around the medium mild efficiency. And if I have to compare it with uh, Rockwell 6S or 6C, this should be something between plate 5 or 6. The access under the nose, as I mentioned, slim profile, really easy that way or across the grain. Quite comfortable. And the side caps here, they cover the blade, so you don't have to worry. You know, there are some head shavers that's probably around their ears. This is an important design factor, so you can consider this one. Really good second pass. Yeah, we're on the on the cheek and the face. Here we're almost BBS. A bit more left here on my neck. Problematic spots, but that's expected. I'm gonna rinse and move to the third pass. As I was rinsing, I felt the face a bit sensitive. So I assumed that that kind of like narrow head design and my technique, I really need to kind of like figure it out how to, to do it properly. Because I may be putting a little bit more pressure than what I have to. And that may be unintentional because I have just less surface touching my skin here. If all that makes sense, I try to explain it as I go. Uh, and again, I still consider myself a beginner. Let me know in the comments, am I doing something wrong? I always like to discuss uh, these type of things and to learn from all of you guys. We're going against the grain. Trying to ride the cap, feels comfortable. For riding the cap, this means that you align the razor first touching only the blade cap and tilt it towards the blade until you feel that the razor edge starts to engage with your whiskers and keep it at a minimal 
angle so you don't irritate your skin especially now as I mentioned my my face is a bit more sensitive after my two passes so I'm trying to be careful the nice slickness of the soap and that um, water that gets into the scalp edge or probably also giving that extra feeling of safety I need to be mindful yeah certainly need to get get more time using this razor it feels that it requires different approach compared to my other razors doesn't feel familiar if that makes sense Not sure if it will be my favorite razor to use, but after some time, yeah, I was not careful. And you can see quite a few dots. That shape is not going as well as I was hoping for. It won't be too fun with the, with the alum. Yeah, over here. This is the area where my whiskers are growing all over the place. And that's not forgiving as my other razors. The alum block will take care of it. But yeah, quite. Yeah, I don't think that I had so much blood during the shave in front of camera. Even not in front of camera. <laughs> The wolf showed his teeth. That being said, everything is BBS, <laughs> so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna rinse the face and we're gonna move to the post shave and see how the alum will be. Time to see what the alum will tell us. I don't expect it to be fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, over there on my sensitive area, but I got a lot of red spots, not good, and over here, yeah, but maybe only when I, when I rub anywhere else, it's okay, just the spots where I got cut. Mm, not the best shave, but it's on my technique, and um, yeah, I'll need more time with this razor. Doesn't feel like my other razors. Not sure if I still like. Not sure if I like it or not. Um, certainly will be shaving more with it. Practice makes perfect. And that positive blade exposure maybe is making a difference because everything that I have is so far with neutral or negative blade exposure. And to my understanding, the blade exposure is determined by the profile of the head and how direct the, the blade is kind of like initially aligned towards your skin. So I may have to reevaluate my technique, uh, which is fun thing. I, I love to learn and try. After the alum and rinsing, the irritation is gone. You will see how the splash will feel. 
Do you guys have have any of the lupus? 72 or some of the other plates? I'm curious to, to hear what's your experience. For the splash, we're gonna stick to Aromic by Ariana and Evans. I love how this smells and uh, the scent stays with you throughout the day. Even if you travel and you don't take a shower, I think it will last for more than 24 hours. A lot of cool ingredients, good for your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feels good. A bit of tingling for the areas. But it got hurt. Mm -hmm. But it's nice and it's pleasant. Love that splash and the soap. That's it. So we tried to tame the Lupo 72. I didn't have uh, as much success as I was hoping for. I see some irritation on my face. So we'll see how this will go. I hope that I'll get better with this razor, but I'm not gonna give up, you know. The... I'm pretty sure that is my technique. A lot of new things uh, with this top cap and blade exposure design for me. So we'll, we'll shave more and we'll see how, how that will go. Thanks for sticking until the end, um, I hope to see you in another video and take care and stay safe.